To all kids out there joining with us today, Shalom! Welcome to Saturday Night Kids! I am Kelly and I am Ella! What an awesome day that we are all here to explore more about the Word of God! Yeah! And we are more excited because you are here with us today to enjoy God's presence! Being with God is always the best! I agree! So, let us learn from one another and listen to what God is going to say. But of course, before anything else, let us guidance from Him. And one of our good friends from Southern Light Kids will lead us today. Good to see you, Southern Light Kids. Let's all pray. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for another great day that we will learn from your word. Please guide us and help us to put it into action. May your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. in our memory for song. So stand up, sing out loud, and dance with us. For it is with the hearers of the law who are righteous. Before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For it is with the hearers of the Of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For it is that the hearers of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For it is with the hearers of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For it is with the hearers of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. Until now, it keeps on running in my head. Me too! It seems like the song don't want to get out of my mind. I love it! <laughs> ah, that's why. Oh my god! Hep, hep, hep! Don't continue. I know that you are so happy. I see it. Oh, sorry! When will it be? Wait. Oh, why? Oh, so well, it will be in August 15. Ah, I know now why. Yeah, it will be Sunday. I shouldn't be sad. It's our worship day for our God. Yeah, of course, we must choose God's first above anything else. And if He is willing, since you put Him first, he may move the date. I do hope so. If that happens, oh my god! Oh, I'm about to do it again. It's good that you realized it because it is against the third commandment of God, which is do not use God's name in vain. Yeah, sorry Jesus. God's name is indeed holy, so I must not be using it without any respect. Yeah, so kids, it is a great reminder for us to use God's name in honorable ways. And also remember the fourth commandment. 
keep the Sabbath day, which means we must be keeping our worship day only for Him. Just exactly what Kelly did, she must never choose between God and the things that she can do on our worship day. God must always be our first choice and that day must always be dedicated to Him only. Consider what, what is honorable with God. That's right! We love to teach you more about the third and fourth commandments of God. And now, let's go to our Bible story time! So, sit down, open your eyes, YD, carefully listen, and hush! Are you ready? Once, when Jesus saw a crowd of people, he went up onto the side of a mountain to teach them. Teachers in those times usually sat down when they were teaching, so when Jesus sat down, the people gathered around him to hear what he had to say. The people had heard other teachers and preachers, but they were amazed at what Jesus said to them. They could tell that Jesus was speaking the truth. What Jesus said that day was so important that his sermon was written down in our Bibles for all of us to read even many years later. Since he was speaking from the side of a mountain, people referred to what he said that day as the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus was a good teacher. When people listened to him, they learned many important things about God. But Jesus did not just talk about what people should know, he also taught people the best way to live. He taught about worshiping God, but he also taught about being kind to people and helping others. And one of Jesus' teachings on the mount is about making an oath. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but keep the oaths you have made to the Lord. But I tell you, do not swear at all either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair, or white or black. Simply let you, yes, be yes, or your no, no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. Jesus taught them that promises should be fulfilled, especially the promises made to God. What's more is, this teaches us that in making an oath, we must not use the name of God nor anything that is made by Him, for it is disrespectful to His name. The Lord should be honored in every way for who He is and what He has done. His name should not be something that we use only for fun and empty words. One Sabbath day, Jesus and his disciple were walking through some fields of grain. His disciples were hungry and began to break of some heads of grain to eat. The Pharisees saw it and said to Jesus, Look, why are they breaking the law by harvesting grain on the Sabbath? Realizing the foolishness of the Pharisees to compare breaking off a few heads of grain to eat with harvesting the whole crop. Jesus answered them. Haven't you read in the scripture what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He went into the house of God and broke the law by eating the sacred loaves of bread that only the priests were allowed to eat. He also shared it when his companions. The Sabbath was made to meet the needs of people and not people to meet the requirements of the Sabbath. Another time, Jesus went into the synagogue and noticed that there was a man who had a deformed hand. Since it was Sabbath, some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So, they watched to see if he would heal the man on the Sabbath. If so, they would accuse Jesus of working on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with a deformed hand, Come and stand in front of everyone. Then, he turned toward his enemies and asked, Does the law permit good deeds on the Sabbath, or it is the day for doing evil? The Pharisees refused to answer Jesus. Jesus looked at them angrily and was saddened at the hardness of their hearts. Then he said to the man, 
hold out your hand. He held out his hand and Jesus held him. Immediately left to go and meet with Herod to plot how to kill Jesus. As one of the Ten Commandments says, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. But can you imagine a law so silly that you could not do a good thing like healing someone because it was Sabbath? Surely that was not what God meant. Jesus never fails to be the best example of the life that is honorable to God. Yeah! And as we are sharing to you the third and fourth commandment of God, Jesus is the best one who fulfilled it. Yeah! As we can see in His example, we observe in His entire life that He never uses God's name in vain. Instead, He addresses it with full reverence. Using God's name in vain means using it in worthless things or taking God's name very lightly. In every way, we must use God's name in honorable ways. We must not use His name that misrepresent God, like taking an oath on His name then breaking it, praying in His name with selfish motives, and disregarding the whole being of God. And it is not just limited in words, but on how we carry God's name. As we call ourselves Christians, our life must represent God in glorifying manner for Him. As we proclaim ourselves as His followers, we reflect a life of obedience to God and do as we say we love Him with our whole heart. Jesus also demonstrated to us the keeping of the Sabbath day holy, like what it says in the fourth commandment of God. We can see that He kept His day centered only to God. And this is how we should take our set day for worship for our God. None other than Him must be focused on this day, as God intended us to rest and spend this day only for Him. The word holy means to consecrate, to set apart, or to sanctify. So, God intended this day for us to separate it from the other's day and spend it only to honor Him. Remember to keep this commandment, for this will lead us to loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, as said on the greatest commandment. This is how we should love God. Let's go to our Bible story. <laughs> or very lightly. <laughs> On his name, then breaking it. No, wala ko dyan eh. Ang galing ay. Our dear Sotonite kids, did you have fun with us? I hope you learned about the third and fourth commandments of God, not using His name in vain and keep the Sabbath day holy. This commandment teaches us to be respectful in every way in terms of using God's name and spend the day God has set for us to worship Him. Live the life that honors God. I totally agree. I hope that all will keep this in mind and of course, Bring it to action. And now, let's all pray. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us about your third and fourth commandments. Help us speak and live in reverence with you and keep our worship day only for you. May your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And before we say goodbye, we'd like to invite you for another fun and exciting activity with us next week. Our Lord is an awesome and amazing God. So, live a life that is glorifying to Him and most especially, give Him the best life of worship. And that's all for today. Jesus loves you and be a Southern Light Kids. Bye-bye!